ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another exciting episode of Trigger Warning Radio. I am your host, the Kaiju Conservative. So, Rabbi Jeffrey Myers, uh, the, the other day, had a, a personal one-on-one meeting, uh, about 15, 20 minutes or so, uh, with President Trump and Trump's family when they visited the Tree of Life Synagogue in Pittsburgh to pay their respects to the the people who were killed in the, the horrific mass shooting, as well as to comfort the uh, the families and the survivors. Now, uh, Rabbi Myers was, was on the air on CNN uh, the other day, uh, shortly after this meeting meeting with uh, Allison Camerata, and, and Allison, of course, asked him for details on the meeting between him and President Trump, and specifically, um, she asked for his thoughts about the president, uh, and, 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 and Rabbi Myers, uh, he, he gave an answer that I don't think Allison expected, and I don't think she liked it either. Now, the the interview was 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 pretty long, about ten minutes or so. Uh, it was very wide ranging. I'm not going to play the whole thing, but I am going to play the portion of the interview where, where Allison asks Rabbi Myers what he thought of President Trump. So here it is. Roll the clip. Mm. We have not spoken to you, um, Rabbi, since President Trump and his family came to visit your synagogue. What can you share? about the words that you exchanged with the president and what happened during that time? I was introduced by um, Ambassador Ron Dermer from from Israel to the president and the first lady and to Jared and Ivanka. Um, After we shook hands, I uh, escorted the the family into Tree of Life. I was privileged to have a private 15 or 20 minutes with the family. Um, The president um, was very warm, very consoling. Um, put his hand on my shoulder, and the first question he asked me was, Rabbi, tell me, how are you doing? And I must say, throughout the time we spent together, I was pleasantly surprised by a a warm uh, uh, and personal side to the president that I don't think America has ever seen. So I don't I don't know who I was talking to when I said roll the tape. I, I'm I'm literally the only one here. I don't have a producer or anything like that. So anyway, that's neither here nor there. Just thought something funny. I thought I'd I thought I'd point that out. But anyway, did you see uh, Allison's body language when Rabbi Myers was talking about how uh, the president was a warm, caring person? I mean, you could you, she was very stiff. Uh, n- kind of just n- not doing anything, not smiling, not even really acknowledging it. Uh, there, you saw those those raised eyebrows for a split second there. Uh, if you didn't see it, go back and, and rewind a little bit. It is there. She, you could tell that she did not like that answer. You know, she's of course Allison Camerata is is an extreme leftist, probably one of the most extreme on the network. Uh, I, I would I would say the only CNN anchors that are probably more extreme uh, would be Don Lemon and and possibly Brian Stelter or Jim Acosta, one of those two. Uh, but you you could tell she was fishing for negative information about the president. She went into that interview wanting to confirm. The, the her pre her preconception of the president as a bad person as as this this boorish arrogant person who who doesn't really care about anybody but himself and and Rabbi Myers just blew her out of the water and she did not like that one damn bit now. The other point I wanted to bring up here was was going back to what Rabbi Myers was saying about how he was surprised at how how warm and consoling and 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 how down to earth president trump seemed and and you know i'm not going to i'm not going to fault the rabbi for thinking that because you you don't see a side of if, if you watch if you watch the mainstream media at all you know you, you don't see uh, anything but the negative side of Trump. You know, these these people are constantly, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, telling people that Trump is an evil person, that he's, he's Hitler, he's a Nazi, he's racist, he's sexist, he's bigoted, and all this nonsense. And then you actually meet the guy, and he's a decent person. He's a, he's a nice man. I mean, I've never met, I've never met President Trump, but, you know, through, through watching the, the different videos and, and his interactions with, uh, with, with people, uh, whenever he's, whenever he's on camera or anything like that, uh, he always seemed very genuine, you know, somebody who kind of takes people as they are and, and, and sees the good in people. And you can tell this, you know, like I said, through, through any video 
where he's interacting with people, especially in a disaster situation. He's very consoling, very understanding, and, and, and seems like a very nice guy. Look, Go back and look at, at videos from, from when he visited Houston, uh, when he visited South Carolina, Puerto Rico, Florida, any of those places. You get a sense that the man is, is, is a caring person and that he knows what average Americans go through, and, and he has real empathy and love for his fellow citizens. But of course, if you, you know, if if you watch the mainstream media, you don't get that at all. This is something that is not publicized at all. You know, what the mainstream media has done with their 92% negative media coverage of President Trump is they have gone ahead and created this this caricature of him as this loudmouth, braggart, racist, Nazi, homophobe, and you know, the, basically the worst person in the world. So naturally, you would you would assume that you know this is going to be a very horrible person whenever you meet him. Now, again, I don't think Rabbi Myers thought that Trump was a horrible person. I think he thought he was probably, you know, he, this this man's a billionaire. He's been a billionaire most of his life, uh, and he's, you know, he's president of the United States. I think he expected um, somebody who was not going to be as relatable as, as President Trump seemed, which, you know, is a fair assumption to make. I mean, it's, it's an assumption that any one of us would have about a rich person, especially about the president of the United States of America. And like I said, I don't fault Rabbi Myers for, for having that impression. I, I really don't, because it's, it's not an impression that he has come to on his own. I'm not saying that, you know, he's, he's, he, he's intentionally sought out negative media about President Trump. I'm saying you can't help but be bombarded by the negative media portrayal of President Trump. You know, constantly, local news, national news, newspapers, social media, every, the Internet, everywhere, unless you're seeking out positive stories about this president, you are not going to find it. And that is naturally going to lead you to some pretty negative opinions about the man personally. I'm glad to see that, that Rabbi Myers was able to get a one-on-one -on -one meeting with President Trump. I, I have no doubt that he would not have been able to do that. Uh, and, and I'm glad that Rabbi Myers uh, was able to see President Trump for the man that he actually is and that he said as much on CNN. I think that's going to go a long way towards uh, disabusing a lot of people of the notion of Trump as a horrible person and a racist Nazi. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks so much for listening. Let me know what you think about all this in the comment section below. As always, if you liked what you heard, leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Both of those things help me out a lot, and I will see you all next time.